Elena Zelenska. We will endure like the video and subscribe. We will continue to bring you hot news every day. Ukrainian First Lady Olena Zelenska tells the BBC that Ukraine will endure this coming winter despite the cold and the blackouts caused by Russian missiles and will keep fighting what she describes as a war of world views because in quat, without victory there can be no peace and quat. We meet in a storied city where a winter's chill is biting, where charming street lamps are dimmed, where buildings are going dark and cold in the midst of blackouts as Russia keeps striking Ukraine's energy grid. The Ukrainian people have won plaudits for standing their ground against Russia's blistering assault. But this is yet another painful test of fortitude. And quat, we are ready to endure this, and quat, Olena Zelenska asserts when we sit down in a heavily secured compound tucked inside a sandbagged labyrinth of buildings in Kyiv. And quat, we've had so many terrible challenges, seen so many victims, so much destruction, that blackouts are not the worst thing to happen to us. And quat, she cites a recent poll where 90% of Ukrainians said they were ready to live with electricity shortages for two to three years if they could see the prospect of joining the European Union. That seems like an awfully long cold road, and she knows it. And quat, you know, it is easy to run a marathon when you know how many kilometers there are, and quat, she says. In this case, though, Ukrainians don't know the distance they have to run. And quat, sometimes it can be very difficult, and quat, she says. And quat, but there are some new emotions that help us to hold on, and quat, all Ukrainians will become stronger because of this war, Ukraine's first lady stoically predicts. Our wide-ranging almost hour-long interview, recorded for the BBC's annual 100 Women season, takes place in the iconic House of Chimeras, adorned with elephant-head gargoyles and sculptures of mythical creatures, facing 10 Bankova Street, Ukraine's version of 10 Downing Street. The building formed the backdrop for President Zelensky's famous 26 February speech to Rally Ukrainians, filmed on his phone two days after Russian tanks rolled across the border. And quat, I'm here. We won't lay down our arms, and quat, he declared. The night before, in one of what became nightly addresses, he had announced in another selfie video that Russia and quat, has designated me as target number one, and my family as target number two, and quat. And quat, and so it was from the first day and it continues now, and quat, Olena Zelenska recalls, her words barely hiding the enormous strain that her family, like all Ukrainian families now ripped apart, are going through. A few walls of sandbags and circles of security checks away, President Zelensky carries on, around the clock, so close and yet so far. She won't give an exact date for when they last had dinner together with their children, 18-year-old Oleksandra and 9-year-old Carillo. And quat, it's very rare. Nowadays. Very rare, and quat, she says. And quat, I live separately with my children and my husband lives. At work, and quat, she explains. And quat, most of all, we miss simple things, to sit, not looking at the time, as long as we want. And quat, Every Ukrainian's life has been turned inside out, from engineers to ballerinas now fighting on front lines, to some 8 million, mainly women and children, forced to flee into new lives across the border. The president and first lady's lives have long been entwined. High school sweethearts, they went on to work together in a comedy troupe and TV studio. He a comic actor and she, backstage, a scriptwriter. When he ran for president three years ago, she made it clear this wasn't a life she wanted. But this war has thrust her into the spotlight on a global stage. After Russia missiles started whistling into Kyiv in the early hours of the 24th of February, Olena Zelenska spent months in hiding in secret locations with her children. She emerged on the 8th of May. Mother's Day this year in Ukraine and many other countries when she joined the US First Lady. Jill Biden at a shelter for the displaced in the relatively safe western Ukrainian city of Lviv. Now she keeps popping up in speeches on Zoom, or at times in person, with her smartly styled 
Hair in classic shirts or jackets, with a shy smile which gives way to strongly worded speeches. Which come from in quote, a mother, a daughter, a first lady in quote. When the US Congress gave a standing ovation, twice, for a Ukrainian leader in July, it wasn't President Zelensky at the podium. He hasn't traveled since Russia invaded, it was his wife. And the first foreign first lady, granted the privilege of addressing the US legislature never liked public speaking. And quote, I was scared, and quote, she admits. And quote, but I understood this mission, it was impossible to miss this chance. And quote, she emphasized, as she always does, the profound suffering of Ukrainian children. Condemning what she called Russia's and quote, hunger games and quote. Then, she went much further, asking the US Congress to send weapons. Had a first lady, without official powers, crossed a line? And quote, it was not politics, it was what I had to say, and quote, she says. And quote, I asked for weapons, not to attack, but to prevent our children from being killed in their homes, and quote, the year before these momentous months, Olena Zelenska had already established a summit of first ladies and gentlemen. Now it's a powerful global network which has helped evacuate Ukrainian children needing cancer treatment and provide opportunities for education. It has arranged access to Ukrainian books in the countries that have welcomed millions of Ukrainian women and children forced to flee, without their husbands, who are barred from leaving in a time of war. I ask whether she now senses a certain in quote, fatigue in quote, in other capitals, as this crisis pushes up energy and food prices beyond the borders. And quote, I don't feel they are tired of us. They all understand that this is not just a war in Ukraine. It is a war of world views, and quote, her prominent role makes her the most visible face of a shattered society where women are taking up new roles everywhere, from fighting on front lines to taking charge as single parents. Check any UN document about Ukrainian society. Pre-war and it uses language like in quote, patriarchal in quote, and quote, traditional in quote, with women's roles limited by gender. Olena Zelenska is adamant that Ukrainian society was changing even before war overwhelmed everything, and that this change is now accelerating. And quote, kitchen, children, church, this is not for our society anymore. A woman who has lived through this will not take a step back. And quote, her newly formed Olena Zelenska Foundation deals with the toughest of challenges, including mental health and domestic violence. As much as war can toughen individuals, it can also tear them apart. In a reflection of the hardening public view as allegations and evidence of Russian war crimes keep emerging, as entire cities and towns are pummeled to the ground, she insists, and quote, we cannot betray those who are now in occupied territories. We cannot leave people who are waiting for liberation, and quote, she hastens to add, and quote, this is not a political position of the president or the government. This is the position of Ukrainians, and quote, carefully stepping through this political minefield, the first lady is categorical, and quote, we all understand that, without victory, there will be no peace. It would be a false peace and wouldn't last long, and quote, and what does in quote, victory and quote, mean to her? She answers without hesitation, and quote, a return to a normal life, sometimes it seems we have put everything on pause, and quote, that includes a different kind of life with her husband, and quote, we're not just spouses, I can safely say, we are best friends, and quote, she says, my first question to the first lady had been, and quote, how are you, and quote, she replied that, for all Ukrainians, their answer was, and quote, we are holding on, and quote, but, for how long? It's a question no one can answer. Olena Zelenska is one of the BBC's 100 women for 2022 The others will be announced at the launch of the season on Tuesday 6. December We hope the video was useful to you. Like the video and subscribe. We will continue to bring you hot news every day.